a total of 4,976 Su-100 self-propelled anti-tank guns were produced in the Soviet Union and Czechoslovakia until their retirement by the Soviet Red Army in 1957. Some countries continued to use them, including Algeria, North Korea, Morocco, Vietnam, and Yemen. Before 1944, the Su-85 was the main self-propelled anti-tank gun of the Soviet Red Army. It is equipped with an 85mm L-52 main gun that can fight well with the Sherman Panzer IV tank. However, in the summer of 1943, Nazi Germany began to produce heavy tanks such as Panther and Tiger I in large quantities. Thus, the Su-85 was no longer a worthy opponent against the German heavy tanks. The Su-100 self-propelled anti-tank gun was born, built on the basis of the medium tank T-3485 in late 1943 to early 1944 and was the version developed from the Su-85 self-propelled gun. Su-100 self-propelled anti-tank guns began mass production at the Uran mass plant in August 1944 and lasted until early 1948. After that, this model continued to produce under license in Czechoslovakia in the years 1951 to 1956. Compared to the earlier Su-85, the Su-100 is both more powerful and better protected over the frontal arc. The case made superstructure mounts the 100mm D-10S rifle gun and houses the four-man crew for which 33 shells are carried. The downside of the case made superstructure is the limited traverse of the gun. The engine and drive train are located at the rear. This arrangement is very similar to the earlier Su-85, but the internal arrangement in the superstructure has been improved. Compared to the earlier Su-85, the frontal armor was increased from 45 to 75 mm. For a World War II standards, this is a very powerful cannon. It allowed the Su-100 to engage the Nazi German Panther and Hatton at ranges up to 1.5 km. With improved ammunition, the D-10S proved to be a potent cannon throughout the early Cold War era. The truck chassis allows for good off-road mobility. The V-12 diesel engine provides up to 520 horsepower. The maximum speed is 50 km per hour on roads and about 20 km on the field. The Su-100 first saw action in January 1945 in Hungary and it was later used in many campaigns of World War II and the Soviet-Japanese War. However, like the IS-3 tank, the combat history of the Su-100 is quite limited because it was born too late when World War II came to an end. After the war, the Su-100 continued to be modernized and remained in service with the Soviet Army for many more decades. The Su-100s were also delivered to its allies by the Soviet Union and they participated in a number of local armed conflicts, most notably the Arab-Israeli wars.